The Digital Audio Workstation, or DAW for short, is the method of getting your music out to your audience in varying audio files. It's usually computer software and it's capable of rendering audio files. It can also be in the form of a mobile device application, such as mobile applications for many, many of the platforms that are out there now. It's also usually UI based, meaning there's a user interface that allows the user to interact with it to create the track that's desired. That means there's usually a track view which has the time on the x-axis and usually the tracks on the y-axis. It also usually supports MIDI and OSC. MIDI stands for Musical Interface for Digital Instruments and OSC stands for Open Sound Control. OSC is just now being integrated into digital audio workstations and allows for information such as note values and the notes to be transferred wirelessly with float point values. Note that OSC is just a protocol so as so such as just as MIDI is. Digital audio workstations also usually support VST software. VST instruments were developed by Steinberg and they're just a way to load in third-party programs into the digital audio workstation. This means that you can write your own code and load it into the digital audio workstation to create your own sounds. This is very useful. Now, depending on the digital audio workstation, depending on the operating system that you're using, you may decide to use a certain digital audio workstation. And there are many options out there for all three and just for one. But regardless of which one you use, the sound is going to be the same. And you might think, oh, this is, you might hear sometimes that different audio, digital audio workstations have different sound quality and rendering quality, but this is not true. This is just a rumor and it's all subjective and it's people say this because they hear what they want to hear. Now, for the duration of these videos, we'll be taking a look at the different um, basic skills that are required in all of these scenarios and all the digital audio workstations. We won't be focusing on all on on just general digital audio workstations, but we'll be focusing on some of the major ones that are used today. And those are on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So just to name a few, for Mac, Windows, and Linux, there's Reaper and there's Ardour. And Reaper is a commercial option that's available for all three. You can run it through Wine on Linux. And it is supported, as well as Ardour, which is open source and does not cost any money. Reaper costs about $60, but it is about 6 megabytes, a lot uh, smaller than Ardour, which is about 20 if I recall correctly. There's also LMMS, which is, stands for Lytics Multimedia Studio. It's the option for pattern-based sequencing within Windows, Mac, or Linux, so it is cross-platform. And you can also go in there and edit the source code if you feel so inclined. Now, there are some options that are Mac only, and the most well-known one is Logic by far. Logic is the Mac-created and based uh, digital audio workstation that was made by Apple and it is supported by them so if you have any Mac troubles you could obviously uh, go talk to them about your logic setup as well so apparently that's an advantage it also has the main features of all the other ones that I have mentioned before remember that all the digital audio workstations do the same thing uh, then there's Windows only software and we'll be going over this later there is FL Studio and there is also Cakewalk Sonar uh, they all do the same thing though FL Studio is pattern based so each of the patterns is you have you have patterns associated uh, with with certain instruments and you can paste those patterns into a timeline which once again is on the X axis so hopefully this has helped and in the next video we'll be taking a look at Reaper which is the, our first cross-platform digital audio workstation